Welcome back everyone, this is Mondo All Day, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Black Adam from the Black Adam comics. This is the Page Punchers version. As always, we're going to be taking a look at the figure itself in terms of the articulation, sculpture, and paint, as well as the comic, and of course, if it's worth your purchase or not. But before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button to not support channel, but to keep up to date and watch videos like this. So, let's take a look at the box. The front of the box looks like... This side... The back, the other side, top, and bottom. All right, let's take a look at the figure outside the box. As always, you do come with a card, so the front of the card looks like the back of the card. It does come with these two lightning bolts. Pretty cool, simple, they're clear, clean looking design. They're both the same. It does come with a regular stand, which I wish it had a flying stand because he does fly. And of course, this is a page puncher. It does come with a comic similar to this page puncher's wave. It does come with a regular comic, and yeah, they're the same exact thing, same comic as the other one. So um, I wish, maybe, probably, maybe one day they can do it to where. And I think the Flash One Wave does, but each character is like a different issue. And I think that would have been much better because you, you get a full story and it gives you reason to get the whole collection. So, again, same comic as the other one, front and back. Now, let's take a look at the this figure right here. This one looks very, very cool. Right away, the head sculpture looks very, very, very good. Very detailed. Look at all that head sculpture. The grin. Look at that grin on his face, that mouth, the paint, the eyes look very good. The hair, hair sculpture, not much going on. Very simple, clean looking. Hair slick back design. The colors, again, a lot of gray hair with a little bit of black to it, but a lot of gray hair. Head articulation, left and right, very good. Up and down, very, very good, man. I really dig it. So in terms of the head sculpture, paint, it looks good. The articulation is very good. Shoulder articulation. Good bicep, good elbows, good wrist. They do articulate, it's just mine are there. You go, I do articulate, but very limited. But the design, though, on this sculpture of this figure looks very cool. Look at all that detail, all that detail looks really good. We'll take a torso, torso articulation. It's uh, it's fair. Actually, no, it's pretty good. Not bad. Actually, I like it. So let's take a look at that detail. Like I was saying, all that detail, and then notice that the black has a little bit has a, kind of a gloss black to it, and it looks very very good. Also here, the gauntlet. Look at all that armor piece right there. Very very cool. Very very detail. I really like it. It has a gloss to it too as well too. Well, not gloss, but it's like a weird textured material look where it kind of like it shines, but it's not glossy, if that makes sense. Even on the shoulder pieces, same kind of style to it. You can see a little bit of a imprint there that's been used, like an armor. Again, very cool shoulder pieces, but again, that same kind of style that's on here, in terms of this texture, excuse me, it's also present on the arms. Very good. Let's take a look at the back. Same kind of textured material, same paint on the back too, again. Very, very detailed. I like that. It looks very, very cool. Cape. Very short cape, but again, looks good. It has a weird textured look to it as well, too. You can see it right there. The design and also, obviously, it's all ripped. Very, very cool looking cape. I like it was actually right here. Not like Superman. But again, he looks good. The black Adam logo looks good. I thought it was a uh, for a second. I thought it actually glow in the dark because at certain angles it looks like it's gonna like light up, but it's not. It's not glow in the dark. But I gotta say though, the gauntlets look good. This guy just looks mean and massive, man. And he should because he's Black Adam. And I gotta say, upper body looks fantastic. I really like the upper body. Really cool looking. Take a look at that belt again. That texture design here on the belt. And his underwear, I guess you can say, looks good. Even in the back to its present as well, too. That that style right there. Very, very good. Leg articulation. It's good. Knees. Wow, this is very, very stiff. There you go. They do bend, but mine is very, very stiff. Ankles. Good. Toes. Good. 
Same kind of style here, textured material, same present here on the legs. And those legs look very defined. Just look at all that. And the gloss back looks very, very good. Same kind of pieces that's on the sh gauntlets. Armor is also on his shin, his legs. I mean, the legs, his feet. Very simple, clean design, but it does have a gloss to it. But it looks really, really cool, man. I really, really like this figure. It looks just mean and massive, man. He did a fantastic job with this Black Adam figure. It just looks beast, man. Dang, this is a good looking figure. Again, just look at all that detail. Well, all that detail. Just looks really good, man. Wow. Really good figure. Now, the main question is, as always, is it worth your purchase? In my opinion, for $25 or $24.99, for $25, you get a very good looking Black Adam figure, the accessories, and all this detail, and the paint for $25 and you get a comic. I think it's worth the purchase, man. I think it looks very, very good, man. I really like this figure. Oh, can't even pose him to make him stand. Come on. Don't play games with me, Black Adam, right now. And he's going to be playing games. All right. But I got to save a Black Adam. Sorry, I'm putting... I'm trying to put a Black Adam to stand here before I close out this video, but... Overall, Black Adam looks fantastic. And like I said, for $25, heck yeah. Definitely a must-buy in my opinion. Okay, he does not want to stand. Wow, screw you then, Black Adam. You know, just for that, not, a, not worth it. I'm just kidding. No, to answer the question, is it worth the purchase for $25? Hell yeah, I highly recommend getting it. For, again, $25, you get a comic, accessories, and a fantastic-looking Black Adam figure. Thumbs up for me. I really like this freak. I highly, highly recommend getting this one. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with me on this figure? Do you plan to purchase this figure? Or do you already purchase this figure? Leave it in the comment section below. As always, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Now, this is support channel, but to keep up to date and watch videos like this. So, this includes an overview of Black Adam from the Black Adam Page Punchers Wave. And on to the next one.